It's almost opening time. Can I flip the sign? Have at it. Five, four, three, two, one. And we're officially open for business. Anticlimactic. Excuse me. Hello. Welcome to the Lone Star Train Museum. I'm docent Sheldon Cooper. If you have any questions... You know where the bathroom is? Indeed I do. You'll want to chug along past our authentic 1928 Southern Pacific Sunset Limited whistle, then keep going past our conductor's uniform, which is worn on the Texas Pacific Railway, then you'll come upon Son, our... Son, I have to take a leak. It's in the back. Thank you. And our toilets flush, unlike the ones on trains before 1889. This is a genuine locomotive bell from Texas and New Orleans, number 701. Now, there's a proper technique to make the purest sound. Most people don't know how to do that, but you're in luck because I do. If you want to know more about the cotton belt, there's plenty in here. Although, the facts in that brochure are suspect. Uh, Sheldon, I, uh, I wrote this brochure. While the origins of the Southern Pacific go back to 1848, the company wasn't formally started until 1865. And before you reprint these, we should talk fonts. trains use the drop chute toilet, also called the hopper toilet, which was really just a hole. Couldn't you just listen to this all day? Uh, we need to talk. About this bell? You got it. Did you know different engineers would often... Yeah. Son, you're a sweet kid, but I don't think this is working out. What? Why? I know everything there is to know about trains. Well, you see, now, that there's the problem. People, when they come here, they want to enjoy it. They don't want to get lectured in the bathroom. And you have been correcting me in front of the visitors all morning long. Would you prefer I send you a memo of your mistakes at the end of the day? No. Because that's what I did for the teachers at my school. I think it brought us all closer. Sheldon, it's great to have knowledge, but you don't need to show it off all the time. Oh, I don't mind. <sighs> you see, trains are all about balance right now you put too much water into a steam engine it can't do its job you let that water run low boom it'll blow up now a good engineer makes sure he uses just the right amount of water not too little not too much that makes sense the fireman adjusts the water not the engineer and then he took my ask me button he didn't even ask me he just took it